This episode of Fishing Fridays is brought to you by Moonglow Attractors, The Rig Shack, Top Quality Rigs, Run the Tackle Bait Shop, and Sol and Seagoo. Hello guys and welcome to se- Season 3, Episode 2 of Fishing Friday guys. So as you can see I'm out the street, got everything packed. Bait of choice today, let me just flip you. Bait of choice, we got some sprats, squid, sanding, because we are for rays, and then I got Sol and Seagull, Moonglow Attractors, the Rig Shacks Rigs, with the um, Tronics Power Rod, and then I got just an old rod for a light fishing on the side. My rod sp- stand, Beastmaster by Shimano's r- rod bag, thanks to Ron the Tackle for that. Got my tripod, got my bag, got my seat box, and of course got my got my coat. So guys, I'll get back when we're leaving. Hello guys, welcome to Fishing Fridays guys, where we are at Aberavon Beach. Who just texted me? Okay, I'll have a look in a bit now. So we're at Aberavon Beach. I'm with Kevin, Kevin Shortman. Right now I'm fishing two rods, we're just uh, took flat fish rigs on because the white den but position it about there is that okay yeah i haven't showed the baits yet guys because i just when i get to the spot that i fish at i just like to cast out straight away but what a beautiful day today guys is wow so get back when i'm like setting up the next rig hello guys welcome back let me just yeah the background's fine so this is sol and Seagwex. I'm off of her way right now. Why do you want to suck it up? Because it's thick. Oh, oh, God. There we go. Sucking up now because it's nice and thick and gooey. Seagulls are behind me attacking my bait right now. There we go. That's enough. It's five mil, guys. Of so- it's great for the fish, though, guys. Trust me, it's worth it. So right now, you, I won't be talking, so I'll be down with her, putting this straight in the bait and, it, and casting out a nice ray bait. So, see you in a minute.
So we go guys, there's a bait in the water now. I know I took about three minutes because I like to make sure and me and Kevin like to make sure that everything's going out okay, like the knots are tight enough. So now we just gotta move down a bit now because all my stuff's here and we're all the way down there. So let's start moving everything down. <laughs> There's the location. If you're having a knock right now, guys, we're gonna leave there for a minute. We're gonna have a sharp box, not like me. I'm gonna leave it a minute, but I'm having knocks on my big rod. I don't know if you can see. Just think of it now, right? As a reset, we're on top of it. Still having knocks. Yeah, It is a knock, we're gonna leave it for a minute. Okay, let's get it in. Good bit of a knock in hours. There we go guys. I'm on the board with one fish. No one's caught yet. But there we go, there's one fish in so far guys. <laughs> Let me do it this way because then there's some sunset in the background. <laughs> Good luck guys. One up. <laughs> I got set in back now. Kevin's in. Ooh. I'm pretty sure Kevin is in. So I'll just go over. Sorry about the shaking. I don't think he's got a thing. Is it? No, no fish. Doesn't matter. But that fish took Solent Seagull X with Glitter Glow Moon Glow Attractor with a 
sprat with a squid on top. So I'll get another bait up quick. What bait was that on, Kev? Sandeel and squid, guys. I'm gonna say a ray I am. Let's wait for this fish then guys, mine's out over there. What is it? Dog! I'm having some, sorry guys, I'm having some solid knocks on the big rod again, so I'm going to leave, see one more knock and then I'll be coming in. Come on, one more knock. Let me just check, One. There we go, there's a bait, it's all wrapped up. It is on. Let's see what this is. I'm all the way down, bro. The drag's on just in case. <laughs> what bait was that on? Fish bait. I think so. Doggy. Mr. Kevin Shortman is in again. There's Jeff up the top. There's Kevin. There's what that is being set up with the tripod and all of that guys.
That looks nice, Kev. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a fat dog. Good job. Good great then. <laughs> great then. It's got to be over a pound, easy. Let me just zoom in so you can see this action. So guys, I hope you can see this. I'm just wrapping all my bait on at the moment because the tide is right behind me right now. So there we go, there's the bait guys, that I've just all wrapped ready. So the choice of Sol and Seagull today is the X, which I've got right here all in the syringe ready. Okay, I've wrapped this a certain way. The fish head that I've got goes to Bahir. So then this leaves, this is the head of the squid then guys. So it leaves a sort of bag. And because the hook's going through it guys, it's like an escape hole for it. This will also be an escape hole. Watch this, guys. There's it all going in right now, guys. Can you see it any escaping? It's coming out to where the hook point is. See it all bulging in the top, too? That's what you want. There we go. And that's what you want. So it's just popped. The squids come out to the top, as you can see right over there. I'll film this later. Kevin. Seems, I think it may be a ray. So I seen like a tail. That could just be a dog. It's over there. This very dark dog fish. Dark dog fish. Again. So guys, sorry I didn't film this fish bringing in. It's only a dog fish. But I didn't even, it didn't give a knock. I mean, Kevin were just talking about how I've only landed one fish and it's quiet and then that shows up like one second as I'm pulling it in. So next rig I'm gonna chuck out is just a two hook flapper with moon glow. Saying that, instead of me talking, I shall show you. So like hang all my rigs on the tripod when I'm not using it. Got a top flap with size baits like that, but then for the top when I've got a nice bait like that. So it's pumped full of moon glow right now. So I'm gonna unhook this fish, get the fish back and cast back out. So guys I was just filling my Sol and Sea Goo bot uh syringe up a little bit and I just had a massive knock, so let me just correct this tripod. Sorry about the filming thing.
So guys, I put the two hook flapper on, yeah, thinking, oh, nice catch two dogfish. It took both of the baits, guys, look at that. It took, oh, wait, it took both baits. That's crazy. Look, and then there's the moon glow attractors filled with salt and sea. Good luck, guys. It took two baits. Ow, don't try bite to me. It took two baits. Let's have a look where this is uh... Woofer Dogfish There's another woofer for you Kev Another dog Another dog so guys, this is how I use Sol and Seagull. So as you can see, all my rig is rigged up with all of the bait ready. All my rods stand down, guys. I don't know if you can see that syringe right there. It's filled with moon, uh, Sol and Seagull. Right in a little hole there, guys. So none leaks out. So what I do, I grab my Sol and Seagull from the syringe. I go up to the bait, I start from the bottom, squirt it in. I pump about one mil each time in each bait. And because I'm going straight for the cast on this one, guys, I smother some of the top of it. Get that on there. I may as well film all the cast in R2. So then, guys, there's all the solemn seagulls still leaking out on top of it. And that's how quick it takes me to use Sol and Seagull. So I'll let you know the time and let's see how long it takes me to get a fish. The time is 4.30 guys, okay? So that bait has just gone out, it's 4.30. Guys, my has just fell. It's time to get these bad boys out. Luminous. There we go, there they go. I'm gonna just chuck something out from one of those rods now. Like two o'clock flapper maybe. So guys, just charging the attractors up. There we go. There they go glowing. First time I've used them in the night, guys. I'm very excited for this. Look at that. Let's get that out there. It's just a little bream up. We're going for white then. I thought I had a knock in. But guys, a bit better news. The white then have just started. This is Kevin's fish. It's not in size, but it's going back anyway. But there it is, guys. Nice white then. Guys, I've just got a white in and there's the moon glow tractor as you can see. It's not in size again. So guys, sorry about the lack of filming, but I have just like landed a nice white in. There's the moon glow tractors on the rig shack rig with Sol and Sea go on guys. It's just been white in and doggies guys, so I'm gonna get this one on hook now and get him back. Guys, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can be here now. Kevin's beating out pulling in the fish. It is on the light drop. The white dinner literally now starting. There's we've had a food. There's a dog fish just sitting on the bank to be good. I'll chuck him in now. There's the dog gone. Ah! Cold heat. Let's see what I've got. Nice bend. Mm. 
Yeah. What far is it? What far? No. That was was that enclosed too? No. No. There's another dog. There's food down there because you can see like the reflective suits. Sorry, I haven't been filming them, and it's just been action packed full of fish, really. And it's quite hard because now the tide's pushing in, it's hard to film. But there's my two rods over there. I got what, that small rod's in close, and that one's in close with um, white thin rigs, basically. Oh, I just had a little shake on air then with just uh, two oak flappers from the rig shack but these moon glow attractors are absolutely amazing i got them on all the rigs out there right now so i'll update you if i can now guys kevin just pulled in this look at that for a white thin guys there's the next to my shoe and i'm size nine in shoes just measured it and it's like 13 inches guys and it's just hope all the big ones come in like that now that was off rag room blow lug sorry so that one's a keeper, that's going in the pan. So guys, I just pulled the little rod in, the big rod's gone back out with black lug on now. My small rod just come in, we got a, a pin white thin, a live bait one basically, and a decent sized white thin, but there we go guys, there's proof, moon glow attractor right on his lip, moon glow attractor right on his lip. Basically, Kevin just pulled in a rig and there's two dogfish on a panel rig. Look at that. <laughs> second, second, that's his second double up cup, and I was on black lug. 